Okay, um, welcome back to Jay Aziz show, and we are currently at the College of International Students of Nanjing University of Information Science and Technology. That is New East, and uh, we are going to talk about the admission processes, how to get admissions, and how to get scholarships here in this uh, August University. So, with me here is uh, the admissions officer in the person of Mr. Jeremy, right? Yes, okay, so uh, I mean, when we talk of uh, New East, what comes into mind first? Uh, first, I would briefly introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jeremy. I am the admission officer of Nanjing University of Information Science and Technology. Um, newest is a famous university, uh, ranks number 41 in the US news. And uh, the most famous uh, discipline is atmospheric science. And totally there are 75 bachelor degree programs and 44 master programs and uh, 22 doctoral programs. And for the application, I think, uh, generally I will describe the procedure. Uh, first, we have an online application system. Uh, when you want to apply for our university, uh, first you need to register in the website. The second one, you need to and fill in the application form in the system and upload all the required documents into the system. After that, you need to submit your application so that we will check your application in the system. And there are several steps for the uh, review of your application. The first one will be the initial review. That is what I do. I will check your admission documents first, whether they are qualified and whether they are complete. If everything goes well, I will forward your application into the academic review so that uh, the academic college officer will check your, um, check your documents about the academic performance. Okay, uh, so what are the basic requirements for someone to enroll in your school? Okay, um, at, for uh, the students, if they want to apply for the scholarship. And I mean, basic entry requirements, not scholarships. Maybe if I want to get admission, what are the basic requirements? I will describe in two sessions. Uh, first, uh, the minimum requirement for the application um, is the you should pass all the subjects. There's no fail subjects. That's the minimum requirement. And uh, for the application for the scholarship, uh, the minimum requirements is 70%, the average scores. And uh, of course, the higher score you get, the higher possibility you will be enrolled, okay? And uh, generally speaking, uh, I think if you get uh, 75 to 80% of each subject, you will have a much, much higher possibility to get be enrolled okay mm. uh, so uh, what are some of the types of scholarship that you have for students who wants to uh, school here okay. um, for the scholarships uh, there are so many kinds of scholarships which are Chinese government scholarship Jiangsu provincial government scholarship Nanjing Municipal Government Scholarship and uh, Newest Excellent Freshman Scholarship, which is a university scholarship, okay? And for the Chinese Government Scholarship, um, mostly you need to apply for the Chinese Embassy. And there are some, uh, some seats that we can enroll students by ourselves, but uh, the seats are not very uh, plenty, <laughs> yes. So um, here, I would like to suggest the students apply for the Nanjing Government Scholarship and the Newest Excellent Freshman Scholarship, okay? And for the Nanjing Government Scholarship, uh, we offer the scholarship for different kinds of degree students, uh, including PhD students and master students and uh, bachelor students. 
which is the same as the newest excellent freshman scholarship. Uh, so uh, over the years, what has been the performance of uh, international uh, uh, international students who uh, school here in your school? Okay. Um, I think uh, the s international students in newest is uh, are becoming more and more um, how to say excellent because uh, maybe at the very beginning the requirements is not the same as the present one. Um, we um, prefer to enroll students which ha uh, who have better and better academic performance, so the requirements can becomes uh, a little bit higher. And I think the, they can study very well here. Uh, not only they are hard working, but also we providing the uh, professional teaching uh, documents, and uh, we provide the professional uh, teachers here. So, so, yes. So I think the students, not the academ academic uh, life here, uh, and also the uh, the living uh, environment here. It's very, very good, yes. Uh, one thing that has come up uh, over the years uh, because of the COVID-19 is uh, uh, s uh, students back home are not able to come because of the virus and people want to enroll. Uh, my question is, do you have any idea of when the borders will be open because if someone uh, wants to apply now, he or she will be thinking of, ah, okay, so if I apply and I get a school, will I be able to come to China <laughs> and study my program? So do you have any idea when uh, the borders will be open for uh, students to come back and, I mean, school? Uh, at present, we are not quite sure about that. Um, but due to the vaccine has been like delivered to different part of China and a lot of students and a lot of people in China has taken the uh, vaccine. I think better and better. Um, I'm not sure whether the students can enter China in this September, but I'm looking forward to their coming in maybe next year. I hope that they can come because I we also miss the students so much. Yes. yes uh, as you can see now, the whole place is empty without students, very few. I mean, uh, so, uh, currently you are enrolling students, right? Uh, so um, where do they have to go on your online to be able to register and forward in their document? Maybe you can put in, uh, what do you call it, the admission portal or something you can Okay, that's yes. Uh, I think uh, the students, if they want to apply for our university, um, first uh, they can visit our website because the online application portal link uh, is listed there. Uh, our officially, our official website is uh, gjy.newest.edu.cn, and the students can visit our website and find the link there. And so that they can finish their online application very easily. So, uh, lastly, what uh, information will you tell the people out there who wants to enroll in Newest? What one word that will catch them to, I mean, to enroll in your school? Mm, I think they should work hard uh, for their present study to get a higher score. The higher score you get the higher possibility you will be enrolled. Yeah, that's it. All right, so thank you very much and uh, we are grateful to have you and uh, we will leave the portal link of the school and the admission right in the, uh, right in the description below so that if you are interested in uh, enrolling in Newest, you can uh, click on the link and then you get your admission sorted out. I am your host and your presenter, Isaiah, and this is Jesus, Jesus, the center on which we evolve. Please kindly subscribe to my channel for more information and see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.